A dimensional observation awaits, the mystery of Betelgeuse prepare for a major planetary event. Betelgeuse, the red giant star at the edge of our galaxy, sends ominous signals to the universe. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have seriously compromised their ability to detect these massive celestial bodies, and renowned astrophysicist Barry Cox has issued a dire warning. This raises the question, are we on the brink of a catastrophic supernova explosion that could change the night sky forever? Let's get into the details, the Betelgeuse mystery in the vastness of the universe, stars are born, burn, and die in spectacular displays. Recently, one star has attracted the attention of scientists and the public, Betelgeuse. A large red star in the Orion Cluster, its distinctive red color and unusual brightness have long fascinated observers. But recent developments have increased interest in this planet. As we explore the shape of Betelgeuse, we find ourselves on the brink of a famous event in the star's life cycle. Could it be that we are witnessing a terrible global event, Betelgeuse, about 764 times the mass of our Sun, is a star. The magnitude is almost beyond human comprehension. Imagine a star so massive that if it took the place of our Sun, it would have a surface larger than the orbit of Mars and swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars in its fiery embrace. This large size reflects not only Betelgeuse's physical properties, but also its place in the star's life cycle. Betelgeuse is a red giant, in the twilight of its life, a phase characterized by expansion and cooling after the fusion of hydrogen with helium in its core, age and evolution of Betelgeuse How old is Betelgeuse? Estimated to be 8 to 85 million years old, this star looks young to the human eye, but it is old based on the age of the star. The current red giant phase marks the end of millions of years of stellar evolution marked by major changes and processes that transformed it from a hot blue star to the red giant we see today. The life cycle of stars like Betelgeuse is a form of massive transformation driven by the power of nuclear fusion and gravity. Betelgeuse's red appearance is a characteristic of its current phase, due to the relatively cold surface of stars like our Sun. Betelgeuse's mysterious behavior doesn't end there, however. Its unusual shine adds another layer of appeal. Betelgeuse is a variable star of about the same brightness that fades in a kind of dance that has fascinated astronomers for centuries. But what really sets Betelgeuse apart is its pain. Unlike many stars that follow predictable patterns, Betelgeuse occasionally deviates from its rhythmic cycle, hinting at complex and less understood processes within its colossal form. The Great Dimming in late 2019, Betelgeuse startled astronomers and stargazers worldwide with an unexpected and dramatic change in its appearance, now famously dubbed, the Great Dimming. This bright star began to mysteriously dim, losing its luminosity at a notable rate until it reached its lowest brightness in February 2020. Betelgeuse, typically visible to the naked eye even in light-polluted areas, became noticeably fainter, a phenomenon that even amateur observers could discern. Point one challenge in monitoring Betelgeuse's activities is the time paradox. When we observe a star like Betelgeuse, we're not seeing it as it exists in the present but rather as it appeared in the past due to the time it takes for light to travel to us. About 725 light years away, the moon visible from Betelgeuse today left the star 700 years ago. This lag time makes it difficult to predict and monitor sudden changes in the star's behavior, since we are looking at the past. The Betelgeuse event recently highlighted the difficulties of real-time astronomical observations and the challenges posed by the large global scales and temporal variability. Student research and projects at the Betelgeuse Sky Show, Andrea Dupree, Associate Director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and the Smithsonian, and his team carefully examined the events that have occurred. They used the Hubble Space Telescope to analyze the giant star as part of a three-year study aimed at monitoring changes in the outer atmosphere. These observations provide a better understanding of the dynamics of unusual stars such as Betelgeuse, which experience expansions and contractions that result in changes in brightness. Hubble's ability to absorb ultraviolet light allows scientists to examine the layers above Betelgeuse's surface, which are heated in part by the star's convection turbulence cells. By analyzing the Hubble spectrum taken in 2019 and 2020, scientists were able to measure the movement of material in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. 
They focused on the magnesium ion lines, which indicate atmospheric conditions. The observations showed that the object was moving from the surface of the star into the outer atmosphere at a speed of 200,000 miles per hour. This hot, dense material eventually extended millions of miles from Betelgeuse and preceded the formation of the dust cloud responsible for the star's dimming, Dupree and her team estimated that roughly twice the normal amount of material from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere was lost over the three months of the outburst. This significant mass loss, considering that all stars, including Betelgeuse, continuously shed mass, albeit at a rate much higher than our Sun, led to discussions among astronomers about whether it could be a precursor to a supernova explosion. Betelgeuse's relatively close proximity to Earth, about 725 light-years away, adds to the intrigue, as any such explosion would be visible from our planet, providing a rare opportunity to observe a supernova up close, possible explanations the question remains. What does this dimming event signify for Betelgeuse's future? Is this a sign of an impending supernova, or a special phase in the star's long and complicated life? Several theories have been proposed to explain this sudden change. A popular theory suggests that the area of the supernova explosion is being stretched by the popular belief that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. Another theory suggests that the dust may have come from the star itself, obscuring our view. Like other red giants, Betelgeuse emits material that can create a dust cloud strong enough to obscure the star's light from our view. A third explanation takes into account changes in the star's photosphere, the visible surface layer, that may affect its brightness. In depth research using different visual techniques helped unravel this mystery. Spectroscopic studies show that Betelgeuse's effective temperature has decreased, suggesting that it may be due to a large dark spot on the star's surface. This theory was supported by the observation that Betelgeuse's temperature dropped by at least 170 K around the image, indicating significant surface changes. Ultimately, the key to understanding this strange phenomenon is the human eye in space. The Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's revelations Hubble's observations revealed that Betelgeuse's dimming was likely caused by a significant ejection of hot material into space, forming a dust cloud that obscured a portion of the star's surface and reduced the amount of light reaching us. This dust cloud was believed to have formed from superhot plasma erupting from a large convection cell on the star's surface and then moving through its atmosphere to the colder outer layers, where it cooled and formed dust grains, creating the observed cloud. Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic observations, initiated in January 2019, played a crucial role in piecing together the timeline leading up to Betelgeuse's darkening. The telescope captured signs of dense, heated material moving through the star's atmosphere in the months preceding the dimming. In December 2019, several ground-based telescopes observed Betelgeuse diminishing in brightness, particularly in its southern hemisphere. The emitted material, initially brighter than starlight, then merges into a dark cloud as it spreads outward and cools. It is thought that these objects flying with the dark cloud caused the dimming of the star, implications for stellar mechanics The magnitude of this ejection was spectacular, and it pushed Betelgeuse into starlight. The star has about 400 times the mass released in the coronal mass ejection. This object, believed to be several times the size of our moon, marked an important event not only for Betelgeuse, but for our understanding of stellar mechanics. This massive ejection of material has significant implications for supernova theories. Traditional understanding suggests that red giants like Betelgeuse lose mass before their explosive deaths. However, the size of this ejection challenges this idea, indicating an unthinkable final stage for these stars that is Betelgeuse preparing for a doomsday, a supernova explosion, in the next few millennia. Recent research has cast doubt on when such an event will occur, suggesting it will happen sooner than previously thought, possibly within decades. Another crucial aspect of the Betelgeuse puzzle is the concept of the bow shock. As the colossal star travels through space at around 67,000 miles per hour relative to its surrounding interstellar medium, it generates a bow shock akin to the wave formed by the bow of a moving ship. 
This phenomenon occurs as the star's outer layers interact with interstellar gases and dust, showcasing the star's dynamic nature and its interaction with the cosmic environment. Current observations and future prospects studying this bow shock informs us not only about Betelgeuse's current state but also contributes to our understanding of stellar evolution and mass loss processes. Regarding Betelgeuse's recent behavior, observations indicate that its surface has cooled and become less dense following the mass ejection event, leaving the star in an unstable state even years later. Hydrodynamic simulations reveal the relationship between the star's motion, mass ejection and the subsequent change in emission mode. This coolness raises questions about the internal processes that drive these changes and their consequences. In addition, the observed mass loss rate for Betelgeuse is significantly higher than for other stars, indicating a complex interaction of internal forces. With all these dramatic changes, the question of whether Betelgeuse is on its way to a supernova has been burning in the astronomical community. While the exact timing of that event is uncertain, recent rumors have changed the story and point to the end being closer than previously thought. Theorists are now grappling with the effects of massive loss of material and its effects on the stability and future of the star. The supernova SN 2023X was caught recently. Meanwhile, in the middle of the Betelgeuse study, another cosmic event catches our attention the supernova SN 2023X. This incredible explosion in the Gear Galaxy, only 21 million. Moon Moon than us. That makes it the closest supernova seen in recent years. Astronomer Koi Igaki's discovery and subsequent research led to a better understanding of the nature of stellar explosions and their environments. Spectral analysis revealed a thick gas shell around SN 2023X that affects the behavior of the supernova shock wave, leading to the investigation of the early conditions of the star's explosion. It's estimated that Betelgeuse lost up to a solar mass of material in the last one to two years of its life, indicating that its final moments were anything but serene. Identifying the progenitor of SN 2023X has become a focal point of study, with researchers converging on a likely candidate, a red supergiant. By studying the details of SN 2023X's explosion, including its progenitor's characteristics and the mechanisms leading up to its final detonation, astronomers can refine their models of stellar evolution and supernova mechanics. These insights directly inform our understanding of Betelgeuse's current state and its potential path to supernova, offering a clearer picture of what signs to look for and how to interpret the massive red giant's complex behaviors. The supernova timeline When will Betelgeuse explode into a supernova? According to research from Japan's Tohoku University, Betelgeuse may be in the combustion phase of its life, the period before the end of a star's life. Haido, the leader of the study, believes that the star's core collapses a few decades after the carbon runs out. Additionally, scientists at Hungary's Konkoli Observatory believe Betelgeuse is in the process of burning helium. Despite these differing opinions, Betelgeuse is generally agreed to be the next supernova in the Milky Way, although that event may not occur for another 100,000 years. Historical observations of supernovae in the past, observations of supernovae have been known to cause stellar deaths. The earliest confirmed record of a supernova, dating back to 185 CE, was observed as a bright star that took about eight months to fade from the sky. Since then, several significant supernovae have been recorded, including SN 1604, the brightest recorded star ever to appear in our night sky, and SN 1054, which resulted in the formation of the Crab Nebula and was visible in daylight for 23 days. The most recent supernova observed in the Milky Way was SN 1604, studied extensively by Johannes Kepler. More recently, supernova 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud was observed within hours of its light reaching Earth, marking the first supernova detected through neutrino emission and observed across every band of the electromagnetic spectrum. These observations have been crucial in developing successful models of supernova behavior and understanding their role in star formation. What if Betelgeuse went into a supernova? So, what if the night sky suddenly exploded into a world-class fireworks display? Imagine for a moment the constellation of Orion adorned with a fiery gem. Betelgeuse, one of its most famous stars, is a bright supernova. Will this exciting project affect the country? 
the upcoming Betelgeuse supernova is classified as a core-collapse supernova, a type of explosion in which massive stars run out of nuclear fuel and are unable to support their collapse. Core-collapse supernovae are among the most powerful and destructive events in the universe. When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, it releases as much energy in seconds as our sun does in a billion years.